It's Saving Challenge Sunday. One of my favorite videos. We get to save through my 100 envelope savings challenge along with some savings challenges for my sinking funds and debt. So let's get into this video. Hello everyone, welcome and welcome back to my channel, The Almost Organized Hour, where we are on a mission to get organized in our finances through budgeting, cash stuffing, and savings challenges. If that is something that interests you, please stick around. Let's go ahead and count this cash. How is everyone doing? How is your weekend? Are you having any plans for the holiday? Let me know in the comment section. I would love to chat with you guys. Let's count this money. We have 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90, 95, 100, and one dollars that we are working with today. I have over to the side here my pen from Madeline over at Madeline Budgets. Now listen, this little puff was definitely more fluffy and poofy and has a cute little owl on it, right? Well, one of my children decided that they wanted to use it as a teething toy and put it in their mouths. <laughs> so, you know, it got a little a little wet and it dried off. It's dry now, but the puff is just not the same. But we're going to use this one today. Let's go ahead and start with, we normally start with my sinking fund savings challenges, but we're going to jump right into this 100 envelope savings challenge. And for all those who may be new, my 100 envelope savings challenge is broken down into smaller mini challenges to help me fill the larger envelopes. So we've been doing this for a little while now um, and we are at number 95 that we are working to build up with. So let me go ahead and grab my debt savings challenge binder because that's where the mini challenges are for this challenge. Okay, so we have the mini savings challenge here um, that we're using to track how much we have in our envelope so that we can go ahead and fill this up a little at a time because we don't we're not working with a ton of cash but we're going to put a little bit at a time towards this and we're going to build this up we're going to get this done it's taking us a while but slow and steady as it as the saying goes we'll get it done so we're putting in ten dollars into this one today and it is going to Add right on up to 95 um, and then when we're done with 95 we'll erase this because I'm using a dry erase marker we'll erase this and use this to build up 94 so let's go ahead and get the $10 and we'll put it right in here all right so let's transition to our sinking fund savings challenges all right, happy September to everyone. We have started a new month this year. It's just flying by. We are now entering into the fall season. We're finishing off this last bit of summer and going right into fall. I can feel the weather changing already. So last time we had our August birthdays and this time we have our September birthdays. All right, so let's go ahead and jump right into our September birthdays. We have quite a few September birthdays. There are uh, um, quite a few September birthdays in my family and quite a few September birthdays in the budgeting community. So each one of these icons are worth $2. And you can find this um, in a free, as a freebie in one of my previous videos, or you can um, go ahead and grab this from my Etsy shop. So let's go ahead and jump right into this. So we have um, two of my children's birthdays are in September. And then we have um, their uncle's birthday is also in September. So we have that. And then we have an aunt whose birthday is in September. So we're gonna go ahead and save for her as well. And then we have some lovely budgeters within the community whose birthdays are in September. We have Marcy's birthday and Ange from Ange Budget and Debt. We have Sin from Sin, I mean, excuse me, Budget with Sin. And we have um, Budget Determined and Christine's Budget and Bujo's, Champagne's Corner, 
May May's birthday is this month. As well as Janelle over at Janelle Ray Budget. So quite a few birthdays. I think this is the most birthdays that we've had on our birthday tracker. And as always, if you have a birthday that's in the month of September and I have not written you down or um, say for you, please let me know in the comment section. I would love to be able to say for your birthday as well and give you a birthday shout out. So happy birthday to all of my September birthdays. So let's go ahead and add this up. We have two, four, six, eight, ten. 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, 24 dollars that we get to put towards the birthday savings challenge. And I've used these, this savings challenge as a way to save for the birthdays that are in, um, for birthday gifts or birthday decor or things like that relating to the birthdays that we celebrate. And so now we can put that with this August money and Probably will pull this out for my two little ones birthday. So let's see how much we have saved between August and September. So we have 10, 20, 30, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41. So it's not a whole lot, but it does help to go towards um, offsetting some of the decorations or if we wanted to purchase a cake normally for our two we just do a double cake you know, you know one cake for both of them because their birthdays are so close and so that always works out in our favor um, sometimes we have different themes on the different sides of the cakes but it works out well for us all right let's go ahead and move on to the play a playlist savings challenge and this is from budgeting by the bag on her for the creator site you can go ahead and check it out. It was a free digital download. Um, and let's see, we have Faith by Design that we're going to be um, playing her playlist and saving $2 for this. And oh my goodness, she has such an incredible story about her student loans. Please feel free to go check it out. Beautiful soul. And Monty is such a sweetheart. Um, and they are on a mission to get their debt paid off and to be financially free. So feel free to go check out her channel. Um, wonderful content over there. So let's go ahead and save $2 for her. We're gonna have to get some change for this. All right, so we have the $3 that we pulled from this envelope and we will put in the five. These funds usually go towards Happy Mail or a giveaway prize or something related to YouTube. Okay, so let's go ahead and move on from there. Then we have the A-Bucks Savings Challenge. Unfortunately, we have no A-Bucks. So we have to move on from here. And then we have I Will Be Home for the Holidays. And this is my Holiday Savings Challenge, my Christmas Savings Challenge. So let's go ahead and pull that out. All right, so here is my I Will Be Home for the Holiday Savings Challenge. I have my dice from Erica over at Black and Blue, and we're gonna go ahead and get started. Each of the white icons are $2, and the um, ones with the red border and the little characters in the inside of them are worth five. So let's go ahead and roll. Again, I do not remember where we left off, so we're just gonna start off the top and just um, go from there. So let's roll. We have eight. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It's two dollars. Roll again. Let's see, we have eleven. One, two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. We have eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, we get to put in $5 this time. Yay. All right, let's roll one more time. So we have seven. 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right. And we are out of singles, so let's see. One, two, three, four. Um, if we put in a five, then we just need a one. Is that right? All right, so we have $11 that we are putting towards this savings challenge today. Let's go ahead and add it to this envelope. And we will count it next time. All right. We are not doing the match and scratch today because the little ones are not available. Next is our savings challenge from Champagne over at Champagne's Corner. We're gonna go ahead and use this savings challenge to save up for our teacher's gifts and things that happen throughout the school year. Oh my goodness, let me grab a coin. But our oldest child decided that she wanted to play the violin. We have a number five. And so we said, okay, that's totally fine. You can play the violin. This was at the end of the school year last year. Not realizing how much an actual violin costs. So we're gonna go ahead and put in the $5 into this one. I looked on the website that the school recommended to rent the violin and I said well they, she has siblings so let's just go ahead and look into purchasing this violin just in case one of her younger siblings end up you know wanting to play the violin like her and so we go on the website and uh, look this violin up and oh my gosh y'all know that violins cost seventeen hundred dollars for the child version <laughs> $1,700. I said, Lord, have mercy. <laughs> oh my goodness, what an expensive um, instrument. And so it turns out that that is actually on the cheaper side for those types of instruments. So um, I spoke with her teacher and uh, they recommended that you rent them. Um, and that's the reason why they recommend that you rent them because they can be very pricey. Well, you know, to rent the violin, it's $100 up front, and then I think it's $25 um, every other every month after that. And so I went on Amazon, and I found a violin that looked nice. It came with the case, and um, it seems suitable enough for a nine-year-old to be able to use for the first time using an instrument because you all know with some of you all have older children sometimes children get interested in something and then they decide that they don't want to be involved in it anymore so for the cost of the rental um, which is what a hundred dollars initially and then twenty five dollars each month I just went ahead and found something that I thought was comparable. I emailed it to her teacher and she said that it was okay and it was $130. So, so we're going to go with that for now and um, hopefully all will go well and that it'll be suitable for what she needs to use it for. So next up, let's go ahead and um, hop into this blessed to be a blessing savings challenge um, because that is our next one. Our Blessed to be a Blessing Savings Challenge can be found in my Etsy shop. No, that's not true. Just kidding. It can be found in the link in the description box below because it is a freebie. Um, so you can feel free to go ahead and download this savings challenge. As I mentioned in previous videos, I think that it is important for us to be able to be a blessing to those who have been a blessing to us. And so it's okay to take out a few dollars and to be able to <clears throat> go ahead and put towards I'm being a blessing to someone else. So we're gonna go ahead and finish off this section and put in the remaining $2 here and then we're gonna color in three over here. So we're putting in $5 for this challenge today. Let's put in the $5. All right, and we are making good progress with this one. All right, let's go ahead and move on to the 20 envelope savings challenge that we have. And this savings challenge, as you all may know, is for my mom's trip. So let's go ahead and put in, uh, let's put in $20 towards our 80 envelope. All 
All right, so let's go ahead and put in $20 for this one. And I have to make an envelope for this um, because I have not made the envelope for this yet. So I will do that and put this in there. Let's get into the debt savings challenges. And these are the savings challenges that I'm using to help me pay off my debt. And let's start off with Jesse's savings challenge from, or the savings challenge that I got from Jesse over at Jesse Budgets. And I am using this to track my D bucks so that I can save to help pay off debt. And we have one lonely D buck today that we're going to use towards the savings challenge. All right. And this is coming along nicely. Next up is the colorful savings challenge uh, that I have in my Etsy shop. Let's go ahead and scratch right here. $10. All right, let's go ahead and put in the $10 into here. And we are almost done with the savings challenge. That is so great. Only two more to go. Next up is the taco savings challenge. And this is from Rebecca over at Here to Their Journey. Let's go ahead and see what we can save with this one. All right, Rebecca, we did good last time with that too. Let's see what we get today. Um, all right, $5. Okay, that is definitely doable. We're gonna have to make some change for that 10. All right, so I was able to make change for the 10 and, wait, what did we have to put in here? <laughs> Hold on, I forgot. Oh, a five, okay, so let's go ahead and grab this five and put this, we have 10, 20, 30, 35, 36, $37 that we have saved with raining, it's raining tacos so far. Yay, we get to move on to the Cupcake Savings Challenge. We actually had enough money. We made it all stretch. All right, we have one final savings challenge, and that is from Liz over at Liz and Les, this cute sticker savings challenge with the cupcakes. So we are not able to put in, um, let's see how much money. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, we were so close. We could put on a topper and then have a $3 IOU. Uh, let's go ahead and do that. Let's go ahead and put on a topper and we'll just have a $3 IOU. Well, let's do the dome one this time. Yes, let's do the dome one. All right. How cute. Okay, sorry, it's a little bit crooked, but yes, okay. <laughs> We're gonna go ahead and put this $7 towards this and then we'll have a $3 IOU. All right. Okay, so we are doing so good with the saving challenge. So we just owe $3 on there. And it sounds like my children are waking up. So we're going to go ahead and thank you all so very much for watching. Thank you for being here. And until next time, bye.